Welcome, 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 divine beings. I'm Moon Goddess 2211. Hello, hello, hello to the passersby. To my new subscribers, thank you. I love you all. Okay, true squad, gang, gang. Y'all been rocking with your girl for a minute, okay? Hope y'all doing all right. Doing great, doing fine, feeling fine, feeling beautiful and lovely, successful, and in good health. Okay, this will be a reading for my divine feminines, and I was led to do um, a reading on the topic of what or how, forgive me, how does your divine masculine um, see divine fem feminine? How does your divine masculine see divine feminine? Okay, so that's what this reading is going to be about. All right, so Holy Spirit, how does divine masculine feel about divine feminine? How does divine masculine feel about divine feminine, Holy Spirit? Holy ancestors, holy ancient ancestors, divine loved ones of the purest and highest holy white light. Thank you, Archangel Michael. Please protect this reading as well as the collective as they listen. Archangel Gabriel, Hymnal Raphael, Metatron, thank you. Send the Master Spirit, guys, holy angels, holy fairies, thank you. Holy Spirit, how does Divine Masculine see his Divine Feminine or her Divine Feminine? How does Divine Masculine energy see their Divine Feminine, Holy Spirit? Thank you. How does Divine Masculine energy feel about his uh, Divine Feminine? Okay, here and now. Right now, they see you standing up and being right where you're supposed to be when you're supposed to be. They see you out here um, living in the moment, okay? Enjoying life in the moment, okay? Enjoying this moment fully, okay? Enjoying your life, okay? Planning, okay? Being balanced, okay? They see you um, have transformed as well, okay? And that's 32 resonating down to a five. So they see that you've made ma major changes within within your life, whether it be spiritually, physically, mentally, whatever the transformation is for you, they see it and they love it. They see you are no longer that person from the past, yet you are, you are the new you going into a new and, and brighter future, okay? You got past and future there, if y'all could see that. So yeah. Holy Spirit, how does Divine Masculine see their Divine Feminine? How does Divine Masculine see their Divine Feminine? Yin. They see you as the yin to their yang. They see you as their other half. They see you as their better half. They see you as their lighter half. And with that too, they definitely see you as a partner, okay? They see that this is a spiritual union, okay? They see you as a very divine healing being and very passionate and very loving with that pink there in the car and you're very in tune your third eye is definitely open they see that you are definitely um they see that you are definitely in tune um with your uh higher self okay yeah you're definitely uh divinely connected period all right you're con you're connected spiritually yeah you're connected your third eye is open okay they see that all right at the bottom of the deck breathe they see that you're taking this time to relax and to enjoy life, okay? And to let the things of the past go, letting the hurt and the trauma go, just taking that deep breath in and releasing all the negativity. They also see you meditating, okay? They see you, they see you meditate, okay? They see the benefits of you meditating. And with 29 there resonating down to 11, this is definitely um, a twin flame. They see you as balanced, okay? They see you as stable, and they also, they want this union with you. Like I said, they see you as their partner, okay? So, I'm just going to leave yin. That's where we're leaving in it right there, yeah. And to be fair, they see that you are a, a person that um, is all about uh, justice and um, giving and taking equally energy being equally reciprocated okay they understand that they cannot penny pinch you 444 thank you holy spirit they can no longer penny pinch you or um you know um starve you uh, energetically yeah they know it's time to reciprocate the same energy okay 
They, but they see you so calm, relaxed, and poised. That's the thing. Okay? They know that you are a very spiritual being. Okay? You're a very spiritual person. Okay? You believe in the divine. You believe in manifestation. You you are aware of the universal laws of attraction. Okay? They see you as being a well-balanced individual. Okay? Bottom of the deck. Your divine masculine, the emperor. Okay? They see you. Um, Your divine masculine see you. Period. They see you. All right? Holy Spirit, how does divine masculine see their divine feminine? How does divine masculine see their divine feminine? Holy Spirit, how does divine masculine see their divine feminine? How does their um, divine masculine see their divine feminine? Okay. Yeah, he wants to take action towards you. Your divine masculine wants to take action towards you. They're very attracted to you, okay? You make that you make that strong, healthy pipe rise to the occasion, okay? King of Wands. They definitely want to come in, show you. I feel like they want to express their emotions to you through sex, okay? I feel like if y'all have already had sex, like I said, this was a, a, a different type of sexual energy for your divine masculine. I feel like they were used to the Queen of Wands energies on the more so negative spectrum when it comes to the Queen of Wands. They're used to those type of energies. But with you, it was different. It was divine. It was pure. It was healing. It was emotional. It was energetic, okay? There was a mental connection like none other. This was a very spiritual experience for your person. I feel like your person has never experienced this type of connection before, okay? Until they ran into you, Divine Feminine. Holy Spirit, how does Divine Masculine see Divine Feminine? Yeah, the pressure is on. They can't stand to see other people give you that praise and recognition. They're threatened by your options, okay? They know that you're a very beautiful being, okay? And the pressure is on for them. Ten of Wands, they don't want to be rejected by you. They know that when it comes to you, they got to come correct or none, not at all, okay? Which means they had to go through a lot of healing and transformation themselves. Yeah, and it was, it was a lot. It was a lot for this divine masculine to handle, but with you being their yin and breathe being here, they're learning Learning from you how to meditate and balance those those energies okay and become spiritually aligned and, and um emotionally and emotionally and mentally balanced okay but they know you pressure period ten of wands they feel like you pressure baby you pressure okay you pressure period yeah pressure yep and they know that they hurt you they don't want to be hurt by you now they they understand yeah they reap what they sow okay with that three of swords there they they broke your heart they understand that they broke your heart okay but they seen how you healed from the hurt and the pain with, with breathe and yin here okay you came into a very uh graceful balance within yourself like you're beautiful from the inside out is what i'm seeing your person seeing and they are wondering if other people ain't no wondering they know other people see that within you as well okay so it's a lot of pressure for them okay you're you're that one you're the one not the two period holy spirit how does divine masculine see divine feminine how does divine masculine see divine feminine Okay, Page of Cups. Yeah, they are in their feelings. They want to express their feelings towards you, okay? And they know that you are a person who expresses their feelings, okay? All right? They also want to come in with an apology here, okay? Because they put such a burden and a strain on this connection and on you, okay? They recognize the detriment and the damage that they caused you in the midst of this connection, okay? Bringing third-party situations in, being cold and distant, being a player, you know, just in that toxic low vibrational energy, okay? That King of Wands energy in the lower, vi lower vibrational aspect of the King of Wands. So, like, yeah, they have to go through their transformation, yeah. With the star here, thank you, Holy Spirit, they have hope. They have hope. They see you as hope. They see you as that dream girl or dream guy. Yeah. And they see you shining bright. They see that you are a healer, okay? 
and you're very mystic and alluring they love that they feel like it's sexy okay yeah they're obsessed with you with the devil card here they're obsessed with you okay definitely don't want to let you go okay they could be a little codependent on you as well with that devil card there okay but i feel like that's something that that, that y'all can work through if you choose to continue to go on this journey with your divine masculine here okay but yeah they know you peer pressure and they want to come in and express some love and emotions okay they sometimes with that page of, a page of cups here though i feel like they think that you feel like they're immature okay which they probably were in the past which makes them nervous because they see you as the star you're you're the star you shine bright you have a lot of options in life not just when it comes to um you know the dating aspect but in life in general okay you're the star okay and you have helped this person ascend to a level they thought that they could never ascend to because they have become complacent with what they what where they were at thank you holy spirit they have become complacent with where they were at and what they were doing okay thank you holy spirit how does divine masculine see divine feminine? 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 Holy Spirit. Thank you, Ra. Yahweh, Yahshua. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Archangel Michael. Thank you. How does divine feminine? Uh, how does divine masculine see divine feminine? Yeah, three of wands, they see a future with you, okay? They are ready to make things happen with you. They want to expand with you. They want to plan with you, okay? They want to partner up with you. They want to open up the airways of communication as well as what I'm seeing here. They could definitely um, see you online doing your thing, okay? They, are, they definitely want to uh, travel abroad with you, okay? They want to travel with you as well with the three of wands here. But they see you shining, okay? That that three of wands, they're ready to make plans and 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 um and um bring them into action with you with the three of wands here. Yeah, they see you out here planning for your future and and ex expanding your horizons and you know opening up to new opportunities, planting seeds and watching the investments come in with the three of wands. So they know you all about all about your business. Period. Yeah, five of uh five of pentacles, they are on the outside looking in right now. And they feel left out in the cold and abandoned. Okay, because they looking at you. Possibly I'm feeling more so on social media. Like they're watching you from afar, okay, and they feel left out in the cold because they missed this connection. Because they had they walked away from this connection and went towards another one. Okay, so they turned their back on you on y'all connection at one point. Okay, which caused them to be in this five of pentacles energy of feeling abandoned and left out in the cold and feeling um you know that 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 energy of lack or le less than. Okay, so they see you, yeah, they see you as being a uh they feel like you're a very um superior divine being they feel like you're superior right now they looking at you they're looking at you they see you as being superior right now okay and that's another burden for them okay because they feel like you're out of their league that's what it is thank you holy spirit yeah but with the six of wands here they see you as being successful they see you being successful, getting public recognition with the six of wands here, okay? Compliments, uh, achievements, uh, recognition, okay? Yeah, they love you with the lover's card here. They see you as their, their one and true love. Like, I'm hearing that song by uh, Usher, There Goes My Baby, six of wands lovers. They see nothing but a successful connection and relationship between y'all. And this is definitely your twin flame, like I said twin flame yeah this is definitely your twin flame the other half to your soul yeah yeah they see like i said they see you as that one period lover's card there is nobody that there is nobody like you you're irreplaceable basically your person is seeing you as irreplaceable and they seeing you get the the recognition and being successful and they want to be successful with you okay yeah and the moon card okay they feel like some of them feel like <laughs> You do hold back, like you've you've got some secrets, okay? 
because you're the star. So they feel like with other options, they feel like you might be hiding some things, which is you could or you couldn't. I'm not really sensing divine feminine hiding anything, but also I'm seeing the moon as deep emotions. So your person on top of having deep emotions for you, they are really like scared that someone is going to come along and snatch you up because they feel like secretly you have a lot of different options. When most of the time, us divine feminines being divine beings, we are in solitude a lot. We don't have a lot of company. We don't seek a lot of attention, okay? It just it just comes. It happens when it's supposed to happen. It's never anything forced, you know, or, um, or uh, you know, um, sought after. It just happens like that. Page of page of wands, yeah. They see you as a person who definitely speaks a lot of positivity and life into them and into the world is what I'm seeing here. They definitely see you as someone they want to explore and get to know better with the page of wands. Here's what I'm seeing at the bottom of the deck. They want to open up that communication. They, feel, they also feel like you're a good communicator as well. With the page of wands, they see you as a good communicator. They, it's like they, they, it's like they see you that, it's like they see you as a good communicator, like you express yourself well, okay? It's not too much and it's not, not enough, okay? It's like you know what to say, how to say, when to say it, okay? And you understand there's a time and a place for everything with the page of wands here, Okay? but they want to come in and express some feelings and take action on this connection. Okay. But they're feeling a little, you know, like a kid, like a, they, they in that little boy energy. Like, you know how little boys, when they like young, when we were younger, like kindergarten, elementary school, you know how boys like you, but don't know how to express themselves. That's why the page of cups and the page of wands is surfacing because they're in an energy where you make them feel like a kid again. And they don't know how to express these feelings towards you because they don't want to get rejected. They can't, they couldn't handle and they can't handle the rejection from you, Divine Feminine, period. Yeah, with the death card here, they had to go through some transformation. Okay, there were some major endings in their life, okay? And they also see that you have, some of y'all have experienced death in the family, okay? So they understand that there has been some, some major endings in your life as well, but they still see how you don't allow that to dim your light with the star card here, okay? Even despite everything that was sent your way to take you out with the death card, um, you always rose above and you found a way to shine even through the darkness. You're the star. Stars shine even in the darkness, okay? So that's how your person sees you, a light in a dark in a dark place, in a dark world, in a cold, cruel world. You are the light to them, okay? Ooh, okay, Divine Masculine. Okay, Holy Spirit, can I get one more card? One more card, Holy Spirit. Yeah, with the five of uh, swords here, they definitely, um, <laughs> five of swords here, they're definitely in their head about you, okay? They went through a lot of mental conflict, okay? But they also see that you are one who plays no games with the uh, five of swords here, okay? Um, they feel, but they also see like you can be, very aggressive with the five of swords here. <laughs> they think you can be very aggressive, okay? And you don't play no games, period, point blank. You you lines people up. And that's another reason why the 10 of us wands is there. Because every enemy that has tried to come against you, you came out victorious. Despite all the slander, the lies. And, and everything that was put on your name, the defamation of character, people trying to, you know what I'm saying, destroy your reputation with the five of swords here. You remain cool, calm, and collected. Breathe, yin, and the star. You're just that bitch, period. You're that one, okay? You're that empress, that divine being, that star, that high priestess, okay? 
spiritually gifted, meant to shine. They see you as a celebrity out here, okay? Some of y'all are, could be celebrities, okay? But this is how your divine masculine is seeing you. Or they could be seeing celebrities acknowledge you as well with the star card here in the three of wands online. Six of wands, okay? That's a burden to your person because they're like, if other celebrities recognize the divine, the divinity in my divine feminine, they probably want her just as much as I do. <laughs> yeah. Page of Pentacles. Yeah, so they want to come in with some type of gift, some type of, you know, they see you, yeah, they see you as the gift. I, I, they see you as the one that got away too with that Page of Pentacles there, period. They see you as the one that got away. They see you as the gift. And now they want to come in and gift you with the Page of Pentacles there, okay? So y'all know I'm about to get some strictly sexual messages here. See what Divine Masculine wants to say as far as, um, uh, as far as, uh, you know, how he sees you sexually as well, okay? All right. Holy Spirit, Archangel Michael, what strictly sexual messages need to come out? How does Divine Masculine see Divine Feminine in sexual energy? Holy Spirit, what sex, strictly sexual messages need to come out? Grip my pipe with your hands and watch me climax from your touch. Okay? You're the star. You have that touch. You got that magic touch. That's how they see you. They feel like you have that magic touch. You have a sexual energy like none other. That is also a burden because this. if y'all have been intimate, you know, had intercourse, sexual intercourse with each other, or even just an oral exchange, your person, this is a burden on this person because they know what you're working with. You the star, okay, with the lovers. You get that good love. In the Six of Wands, it don't get no better, okay? And with the Three of Wands here, if y'all have ever, like, made, like, little, you know, private video that, you know, is just for your eyes only, your person is watching those videos, Okay? with the three of wands there they're watching old videos photos of you okay definitely either on the phone or on social media or whatever like through the dms or whatever direct messages you know inboxes dms whatever you want to call them they're looking at oh like pictures if you sent pictures if y'all got videos your person is watching those videos and they are remembering how your touch felt in that moment and they want it it it's holy spirit what else strictly missed okay licking on your thighs so your person definitely wants to lick on your thighs okay they love your thighs period they when they, especially if y'all are thick or uh what do you call it um bottom heavy okay they look at your pictures and they see you and they won't think about licking on your thighs okay they want they love your thighs it's something about your thighs okay no matter what size, shape, okay? But they love your thighs and they look at your pictures and stuff and they want to lick on them. You got that butter love. I just said that. You got that butter love, period. Okay, last message. Bedroom wars, it's a competition. So your person sees you as competition in the bedroom. They like how you get down in the bedroom. You're the star. I keep telling y'all that, okay? They love that you are competitive, in the right areas, okay? I feel like Divine Feminists, they see you as a very competitive person in general. But when it comes to the bedroom, it, you knock it out the park. You knock it out the park for this person, okay? All right, at the bottom of the deck, I love the way you ride me, especially in reverse. I cannot make it up. I'm hearing that song by Sierra. He loves the way I ride. He likes the way y'all ride it. Yeah, okay? So that's how your person sees you in the se sexual aspect. Now let's get some love on this, all right? Holy Spirit, how does divine masculine see divine feminine? And what does he want to say in regards to how he feels and sees divine feminine? How does divine, uh, what does divine masculine want to say on how he sees and feels towards divine feminine holy spirit okay 
Bottom of the deck. I love you. Your person loves you. Yep. Your person loved you. I left you before you could leave me. What did I say? Your person left you before they could leave because they felt like you were out of their league. I said that. All right. Holy Spirit, how does divine masculine see and feel towards divine feminine? Okay. What messages need to come out? I'm afraid to contact you. I just said that. I just said that. I can't make it up. They're afraid to contact you because they don't want to get rejected. And if y'all are in communication, they're not expressing their truth, okay? It's petty communication. And yeah, with the page of cups and the page of wands, like I said, it's petty communication or, or immature communication because it's small talk. It's not what they really want to talk about, okay? And for others of you that have had no communication at all, they are afraid to contact you because they don't want to be rejected. They love you. They don't want to be scarred. Yeah, I left you before you could leave me. And they, now they're re, in that regret energy. Okay? Bottom of the deck, I wish things could be different. So your person is definitely over there hoping and wishing with the star card that they can get you back. Okay? Or that they can go ahead and find the courage and the strength to express their feelings for you and accept whatever decision you decide to make when it comes to your connection between you and your divine masculine. Okay? Holy Spirit. All right, two. We're going to leave that there. At the bottom of the deck, I can't stop thinking about you. I told y'all, y'all person, y'all on this person's mind heavy. Your divine masculine is thinking about you heavily. <clears throat> yeah, and that's a secret with the moon. Okay? They, they don't want you to know. Just yet. That they are in love with you. Or they don't think you know. But Divine Feminine, you already know. I couldn't let you get too close to me. I told you. That's that That's that. Uh, that um, devil energy. That trauma. That lower vibrational. That healing. Those wounds that they didn't ha heal. Before they, um, you know, came into contact with you. And when you did... You struck something within this person and and they didn't know how to handle these emotions. They they were in love with you the whole time. They never felt like felt this way about any, you know, other feminine energy. And then look, we will be together again. So your person is saying they y'all will be together again. They coming for you, and there's nothing you can really do about it. Period, point blank. So that's what I have for y'all, Divine Feminines, as far as how your Divine Masculine sees you. I'll probably do a, a, a vice versa for Divine Masculine, okay? So yeah, I love y'all. I'm Moon Goddess 2211. I hope that y'all enjoyed this message. Um, I am open for personal reading. So if you would like to book with me, please drop the description box down below and all the information will be listed there for your leisure. Okay, um, also continue to like, share, comment, subscribe. And when you subscribe, please be sure to hit that notification bell so you'll never miss any of the uh, newest uh, energy reads that I uh, record and, and put out for y'all. Any messages or videos or whatever the case may be. Um, but I love y'all. True squad. Gang, gang. Mwah. Namaste, my loves.